Hey guys, how are you going? So, massive news out of Queensland this afternoon as the Palaszczuk government has announced that they will be removing vaccine mandates for certain sectors and just keeping them in what they deem as high-risk settings uh, moving forward. So this is obviously kicking off from Thursday next week. Um, look, thoughts on this. Number one, I think it's a big win for uh, the pro-choice people. Obviously, choice is all that a lot of them, this is me included, have ever asked for. Uh, whenever there is some sort of medical procedure or any sort of risk involved, I believe that there should be choice. So uh, having these restrictions removed uh, makes me feel a lot better. And I'm sure it makes a lot of other people feel a lot better too. Uh, on the flip side, I'm sure that in the coming weeks and months, there will be people that will be having to grapple with the reality of uh, the fact that unvaccinated people are going to be allowed in the same areas as them. Uh, for them, I think we do need to reach out. Obviously, uh, unfortunately, the data has shown that whether you're vaccinated or not, you can still get COVID. Whether you're vaccinated or not, you can still spread COVID. So unvaccinated people are no more danger to you than vaccinated people are. At the end of the day, if you've got the virus, you can spread it. If you don't have the virus, you can't. So, um, But that will probably take some getting used to. And at the end of the day, I feel like this is a massive step forwards and that we, it is time for us to start coming back together as a community. Um, and the only way we're going to do that is by putting these, well, removing these restrictions and just getting back to life as normal as we possibly can. Um, I do find the timing of the announcement a little bit curious, um, given that a lot of people don't realise, but the Queensland government only a week and a half ago actually extended the state of emergency from the 24th of June until the end of October. So how you can go from thinking that there's enough of an issue to extend emergency powers for an additional, well, from, it's what, six months from now, uh, and then a week later remove restrictions. I don't really understand that. Um, unfortunately, I do believe that this was a political decision more than a health decision. Uh, that's based on the fact that the Liberal federal government announced about a week prior that once the... Uh, the Federal Emergencies Act expires on the 17th of April, they would no longer be renewing it. Therefore, I guess you would say uh, declaring that there is no more emergency and it would have looked pretty unpopular for the Labor federal government heading into the federal election if it was Labor premiers around the country still imposing draconian mandates uh, and lockdowns, etc. Uh, and the Liberal governments weren't. So... Can't help but feel like this decision is political in nature, but it is a positive decision nonetheless. Um, unfortunately, I will say too, I don't... If this is a political decision, unfortunately, they do have the means as soon as the uh, election is over to bring these mandates and restrictions back in as, as soon as they like because they have extended those emergency powers. So if you are someone who... Uh, does not want the mandates returned, I would say don't take your foot off the pedal, stay engaged, uh, speak to your local politicians, uh, do whatever you can or whatever you have been doing to try to continue uh, to drive a move back towards, you know, normal. I don't want to go to a new normal where you've got segregation. I want to go back to the old normal where we were Queenslanders and the only people we used to hate was New South Welshmen uh, for about three months of the year. So, Looking forward to returning back to that. But guys, at the end of the day, this is a really big step forwards. Um, me and the other playgrats are looking forward to meeting up with all of you down at the pub from next week. Cheers. We'll see you there.